Hello again, friends and onlookers. Conrad Zimmerman here. I can't, I can't believe I'm doing this. So a few weeks ago, um, I got an email from uh, a friend of the sh of the channel and my work, uh, Max Warhoftig, and he's like, "I will pay you money if you make a video of you playing the Adams Family Fester's Quest." Oh, this was a bad idea. This opens the door to all sorts of... Uh, and, and this, like, really upbeat, fun, kind of, you know, almost slightly steel drum tropical version of the Addams Family theme is, like, the best part of this game. Like, enjoy this. Because it doesn't really get better than that. Oh, yeah, get down. Get funky. The Adams Family. All right, let's let's start this. So, uh, what Fester's Quest is? It's a top-down uh, 2D exploration shoot 'em up title. It, it's from Sunsoft. Sunsoft. It came out in 1989, and um, it bears a lot of similarities to another Sunsoft game, Blaster Master, which isn't. It's hard to tell whether or not Blaster Master is a good game, because it's got this really cool 2D, you're driving around in a tank, shooting things, exploring this big environment, now, all of that's really cool. And then that's paired with these really kind of not fun, uh, top-down, running around, shooting things bits. Uh, Fester's Quest is just the top-down shooting things bits from Blaster Master. So, the things that inarguably weren't fun, <laughs> like the stuff that if, if you had to, like, make me point out what wasn't fun about Blaster Master so that someone could make a game, uh, the resulting game would be Fester's Quest. Uh, like Blaster Master, it has a, uh, a weapon that powers up over time. Now, thankfully, unlike Blaster Master, taking a hit doesn't cause you to lose the developed energy. Instead, we get, there's a perfect timing for this, uh, red and blue icons that increase and decrease the power of your weapons. There's a, a gun, and then later I'll get a whip, and there's a, a whip icon so you can see what that looks like. Um, so, you're always killing these enemies. They spawn at the edges of the screen. And they're sort of always on the periphery. It can be very hard to sort of make progress on them because your weapon doesn't do a whole ton of damage. Uh, now, there's a we the whip does more damage, but we'll get into the light. That's a pain in the ass in a little bit. Um, so they take several hits to kill most enemies. You're always tapping this button. I actually have a turbo controller, and I'm going to use that because that takes a lot of the pain out of this game. And and then you'll have to stop and wait for, you know, an icon that will reduce the power of your weapon uh, to disappear because it's blocking your path. And see, there's one right there, and they come up all the time. Uh, the spawn rate for the power down seems to be quite a bit higher than the power ups. Um, so what we're doing here is I'm, I'm literally running back and forth in this first street, the easiest portion of the game, just to max out the power of my gun. It's tedious, it's boring, but it's a hell of a lot easier and really a, a time saver in the long run as compared to trying to do it later in the game, um, especially since here now you can see that as it's upgraded to this level, it is a very, very wide sort of spinning arc. You want to see what's so wonderful about this game? Yeah, that's right. It hits the environment. So if I go just... Uh, I need to back up a little bit or that guy's going to hit me. There we go. If I go... Oh, look! My shots, they do nothing! Useless! Useless! Oh, God! Just the, the design of this game is terrible. It, it's. I was. Uh, I was actually saying this to Max because uh, we were talking about how you know I said I'd do this video weeks ago and it hadn't materialized yet. And I was like, this game operates at this amazing intersection between 
making mechanics that are deliberately designed to impede the player's progress and pairing that with already tedious gameplay. It's not that Fester's Quest is hard. It, it really isn't, um, actually. It gives you everything you need to beat the game. You just have to sit around and wait for it to show up and be patient enough to not, like, pick up crappy power-ups. I'm one level away from maxing out this gun, so I'm looking for one more blue gun icon, and then I can finally move on. Neat. Ugh. What a pain in the butt. Yeah, and this, is, this is how every game of Fester's Quest starts. Just walking back and forth, getting the things to spawn, waiting for the blue gun icons. You gotta collect seven of them to max the damn thing out. Oh, there's a red one, and that would have been impeded my progress, so, you know. Ugh. What a pain in the butt. Another red gun icon. And I get a blue one. Just one more blue one, that's all I'm asking for. I don't think I'm being too demanding. And now, you see, I'm also picking up light bulbs and keys. These are secondary items uh, governed by the A button on the controller. Uh, the B button shoots, the A button uses whatever your selected item is. Hey, there's our last upgrade. All right, and so now's a good time we can start looking at that. So you get all of these items throughout the course of the game from various members of the Adams family. Look, I've already got 40 bucks. Eight light bulbs, seven keys, like, you just, you wind up with so much crap because you have to spend so much time grinding to get your gun to this level. And now you never want it to fall because the other, the next one down is just slightly wider, so it doesn't fit all the corridors except, like, in the one specific spot that you need to stand in to make it work. Royal pain in the butt. These guys are firing off flies. If I get hit by the flies, they'll slow me down. Really tedious. Again. Tedium's the name of the game here. Well, no, the name of the game is... Fester's Quest. But, you, 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 get, my, you get my meaning. So I'm gonna select a key, I'm gonna press the A button at this door, and Pugsley's there to give me some TNT. Cool. Thanks, Pugsley. Little bastard. Ugh, and even still, like, you gotta be careful on those edges, because your bullets will just hit it, because, you know, they're one big bullet, they're not actually three bullets the way it would appear, it'll block the whole damn thing. I'm gonna open this up and get some vice grips. Vice grips are used to, uh, counteract that slowing effect, uh, flies will give you. I think there might be some other enemies that slow as well. Like, I think the tongue from f green frogs do does it also. But we're gonna go down here into the sewers, and it's dark, so we're gonna need a light bulb. We'll just stick that in Fester's mouth to light things up. As we head into the sewers. Yay. Now, you see, I only have two health, so I can take one hit, and then if I take a second hit, I'm dead. That can be increased, and we'll, we'll get one of those pretty soon. These little slime creatures just sort of multiply when they get shot, and they're a real pain in the butt, because then they'll drop, you know gun downgrade icons, like those two in there, and now I get to sit here and wait. I heard a rat. Not this time, pal. No gun icons in there, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Those maggots will turn into flies. More slime. Now, it doesn't matter if I get whip downgrades or upgrades at this point, because I don't have a whip yet. You don't get that till after you've cleared the first boss and then a little bit of travel rid of that fly so it doesn't hit me. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a pretty exciting game, isn't it? It's just, yeah, I mean, you have to be methodical. And th there's nothing wrong with that, necessarily. It's just not particularly interesting, and, and the game's designed to be a pain in your ass. It's not that I feel disempowered by it, I just kind of feel bored by it, you know? We continue through the sewers. So it's a big overworld map connected by sewers. Um, and, you know, I, I think that they didn't expect people to really play past, like, the second boss, maybe. Because after a point, it just, like, you'll get 
dropped out of a boss fight. Um, all of the bosses are in these buildings. And oh yeah, you know, you want another relic from the past. Guess what, guys? You get to experience another one of gaming's finer uh, attempts at immersion. The 8-bit first-person view. We'll see that here in a sec. Oof. Almost walked into him. Nothing to hurt us there. That's good. Just have to make it around the corner, and then we're back up to the overworld. Uh, that's a gun marker. Don't want that, but I will take that key. Not that I really need keys. I have more keys now already, I think, than I will need the entire game. Assuming I like, finish it. Right, yeah, so like, look at this narrow-ass passage. It's so easy to get your weapons stuck in it. And not be able to move forward. Back to the surface. So, uh, we're actually, like, just above where we started. See, that's where we started there. And these frogs spit fire and are a pain in the ass. Frickin' pink frogs. I'm gonna come down around here and go to this house. Ah! Damn wall stuck weapons. I'm gonna stop by this house and see who from the family's home. Grab our key. Thank you, thing. Potions are the way you heal. Um, they'll fill your health up entirely, which is great. Uh, not really super useful at this point, considering I can only have, you know, two hit points total. But we'll certainly become more valuable later on. Shooting, shooting, shooting. I like Fester's face is just like three blue lines when he's looking down. I don't know why that makes me so happy. It just does. It looks, looks fine. Like it looks like Fester. I don't know why that looks so much like Fester, but it really does. Uh, see, they'll just come forever. So this building, these uh, buildings here, the white ones, are where the, the bosses are. And they are like labyrinth mazes. This is an optional one. But we're going to go into it because there is a secret. You know, like you were going to find that. Oh, look, I just upgraded my health. Yeah, you were totally going to find that on your own by walking through a wall. That makes sense. All right, well, at least we have three health now. And we're moving up. There should be a hot dog cart, I think, up top here that I can use to heal up. And we're going to go to that other house because I think Thing has another gift for us. I do like the music in this, though. That's something. Still have our keys selected. Invisibility potions. These are the second really, really useful item. Thing gives you all the best crap in this game. Faux show. I think later he gives you missiles, too. Right. Down we go. I'm gonna let that frog follow me. I don't really care. Oh, but I didn't get any food. Um, hmm. Maybe there's another food opportunity. Hot dog carts are the other way you heal. Um, they're positioned throughout the map. And uh, you just pay money and you get hot dogs. Uh, what's... You know, it's obviously preferable to using potions because you can only carry five potions at a time. Um, and those will refresh if you clear a boss. Um, but yeah, you just get the five, so if you're in the overworld, it really, it's in your best interest to just find a hot dog cart to heal. <laughs> Walking through the sewers, be kind of bored, listening to the one of four songs in the game. Shooting up the rats with my three-way stunner. I call it a stunner, cause it stops if it hits a wall. 
at all. Anywhere. Yeah, you just keep running along the wall, rat. Oh crap, these things are annoying. And it was positioned right back. Oh man, I, I'm dodging a bullet here because that could have been really nasty. Um, those pink guys, like many of the enemies in the game, you know, if you're in the right spot, and the right spot seems to be just about anywhere that they could spawn, um, they'll just keep coming in like these frogs are doing. Isn't that neat? I'm just going to run around them. And down. So, like, we're doing all this exploration in the run-up to the first boss, right? And then, like, that stops. Like, there's some exploration to the second boss. And then after that, they're just like, Eh, you finished the boss. Here, the stairs to the next area. Why don't you just... Oh, man. I didn't get an opportunity to buy food. I had, I've had to go back. Oh, well. So, we're in another first-person labyrinth. We're walking around. We're at an exit. And this is the first boss. Isn't that exciting? I, I used a potion to heal myself there, and now I'm using the invisibility potion, which really should be an in invincibility potion, I think, but... And I'm just going to plug him. Just like this. Use a potion. Use an invisibility potion. When I take another hit, I'll use another invisibility potion. And then I'll heal again. Oh, but it wasn't necessary because the first boss is kind of easy. Right. One boss down. And now the whole point of this, which isn't really, like, clarified all that effectively... Because the game's just come with manuals, and this would have been in the manual. See, now I've got a part of a clue of a spaceship that indicates, like, I guess, where to destroy the spaceship so that I can defeat the aliens. Like, that's where the exhaust port is that I'm going to drop a bomb into. Yeah, that's a cultural reference, right? Something about a an exhaust port and a, I don't know, some kind of womp rat, something like that, I don't know. Ugh, those pink guys are awful. And they'll just eat through the walls and come right at you, so it doesn't matter where they spawn. And now I get to wait for that gun to disappear. That's fun. Waiting for the gun to disappear. There we go. Super narrow passage. Couldn't shoot anything down that. Or maybe the basic weapon? Maybe? Because it's just like a little green slime ball thing. A level above that. Also a green slime thing that just travels farther. Alright. Now we're going to keep going here because that's not our exit. Not going to get fooled by that. Hop over here. And those guys are going to come, but I'm going to go up the stairs and get out. And making progress. So, yeah, we're... This is the explorey bit leading up to the second boss. Enjoy it. It's going to get even more dull and direct after this. At least for a while. Okay. Um... Uh, this is a terrible dead end at the bottom here. I can't remember if there's anything else I need, though, that is down here. So we're just going to work our way down. I don't think so. I think I'm just setting myself up for a really annoying fight back up. But I, there might be an item that I need to get from one of the houses. There's a house entrance down here. I think it just ends in a sewer line that goes nowhere. Or I know I know there is a sewer line that goes nowhere down here. I just can't remember if there's anything else down here. Oh, the hot dog cart. Yeah, that's for when you... Oh, fuck me. I don't need to 
deal with him. I think if I just leave that guy alone and not shoot him, he won't really, like, chase after me. He gets pretty fast when he's shot. I don't, don't want to deal with that. Get too old for this shit. And I'm just going to try and dodge the frogs that spawn. Unless they're, like, little guys like this. Right, so now we have to make our way up. I'm not going to grab that red gun icon. It's the other thing, you know, like, for uh, someone who obsessively tries to collect everything that pops up in a game, power downs are just such a weird trip. Alright, so our path is over here. There it is. Ah, walls! The worst. Now we... Oh, uh, this annoying purple guy is going to come up here and be a pain in my ass. Oh, boy. Come on, pink, you son of a... Run, 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 run! Don't let another one spawn! And there is a... Oh, it's just... It's not... It's just not a very interesting game. This is... Do, 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 do. The boss fights are... Almost all the same thing. It's... It, it's each boss fight adds, like, another element to the boss. So, like, we had the one there that had the little chain arms. And the next one's gonna have, um... Arms that are, are harder and... Will have some additional defense. And soon there will be guys that shoot guns at you. And, I mean... So each, each boss adds a little something. But they're all pretty much fought the same way. You make yourself invincible and you heal. You know, uh, or you use the special weapon that you just got on the previous stage in conjunction with invisibility potions and healing and kill it. It's, they're not, it's super linear for what appears to be an exploration based game. There are a couple of like dead end pain in the ass wrong turns you can make. Hey, I got a whip. Okay, so this is the second weapon. Uh, just select it from the menu here. I love that noise it makes. <laughs> uh, it's pretty useless right now. But it has four levels. Half as many as the, uh... Oh, this is where I came in. Yeah, I want to go down here. Right? Is this where I came in? I think that might be where I came in. Yeah. Ah, frog! I've already turned myself around, so... Who knows? Might be completely lost. Might be working my way back. I might come out of this and be like, Son of a bitch! Why did I do that? Might happen. Okay. Yeah, no, this was right. I went the right way. Go me. Hoorah. Hey, look. Another little sewer section. Overworld. Underworld. Overworld. Underworld. Overworld. Underworld. Yay! I creep across the top here so that's not a, an issue. Now, I'm, I'm still shooting these guys instead of using the whip. The whip's actually a much more effective weapon for dealing with... Uh, enemies like this that would spawn multiples because it'll just kill them outright um, and won't give them the opportunity to spawn, but I want them to drop whip upgrades because I really want that whip to get powered up. That's a downgrade, though. That's the opposite of what I'm actually looking for. Oh, boy. I, all right, there's a gun upgrade in there, but that's got to disappear, and then maybe I can swoop in and grab the whip first. No. Nope. Let's see. Yep, so this is like the second major pause in playing Fester's Quest as you try to get your whip upgraded. I mean, I could run around and wait for the opportunity to come, but it will take forever. And then and in that time, I won't have a useful whip. Which sucks. Because the useful whip is very useful, actually. It does a lot of damage. 
But I also don't want to do it at the cost of downgrading my gun. So it's going to be a whole lot of... Oh, look! A whip downgrade and a gun downgrade! Those are all things I don't want. Hey, there's a whip upgrade. Alright, two more of those and we're good to go. Ugh. Is anyone going to be upset if I just fast forward through this? No? Alright. Okay, good. So we have our upgraded whip. Boom! Now that's the problem with the whip. Great weapon, right? Does a ton of damage. Automatically picks up items. Including, but not limited to, power downs. So you can be whipping and kicking ass and be like, Yeah, I'm dominating these some bitches," And then you'll pick up downgrades for your gun. Your gun will become fucking useless. Or you'll be whipping along and you'll pick up a downgrade for your whip. And then your whip will be considerably less useful. It is such a pain in the ass. So you still wind up just using the gun in a lot of circumstances where the whip might be more advantageous. Just because you don't want to take the risk of powering down your items. On to the second boss. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. Nope, not that way. Not that way. Is it this way? Eh, not that way. I sure do love first-person mazes. They're my favoritist. Hey, look at that, it's a boss. So this one is just like the last boss, except he moves around and whips at you. But I'm not going to move around. I'm just going to stand here and whip him in response. And use invisibility potions. And whip him until he's dead. Use a heal. Use another invisibility potion. And he's dead. Wasn't that exciting? I mean, it's not even like the Blaster Master bosses where you always got a cool item after you beat every boss, and so then you get to little experiment. No, it's just the bad crap. It's just the not interesting, boring stuff. Don't get me stuck here, please. Don't make me wait for a gun to disappear. Thank you. Walking through the sewers, sewers, sewers. Okay, and we're coming out of the sewers and... Oh, look, a house. So let's go see what we're getting at this house. Missiles from Thing. Missiles are how we're going to pretty much take out the next boss, probably. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, look, there's a hot dog stand. I haven't seen one of those for a while. Don't really need any health, so no reason to stop there, but... And... I, you know, I'm convinced that these sewer sections are just here because they're like, we want to make you use light bulbs. We need a practical value for light bulbs, so let's put them everywhere. <sighs> I think this is one of the longer sewer treks, too. Just in terms of how long it takes... Oh, no, no, there's the exit. I stand corrected. And next boss area. Nothing else over here. Use a key. Go inside. Wander semi aimlessly until you find the exit. Eventually, you just sort of stumble upon it. I'm sure I'm walking in circles. Yeah, I totally am walking in circles.
Oh, why are they all circles? So many circles. There are maps for this online, obviously. As you would expect. Oh, I walked back out. Oh, let's go all the way to the end. No, going all the way to the end is not the answer. Eat this one. And then this way. And then this way. And... I'm all the way back, yeah. Damn it. Uh, I hate first person. Okay, so it wasn't the first one, the second one. Or, we even tried the second. Ah, uh, such a pain in the ass. It all connects up. Is there another turn? Can I make like a... No. Oh, it was just go down to the end of the... Fucking hell, I hate this game. So this guy has, um, this guy's actually kind of a pain in the butt, because he's got a shield. Now I can missile him, and it just takes a long time. It's that or, well, I mean, I may still go... Um, in with the whip here, but the idea is that he'll block his core, you know, thing that lets him take the damage and die. <laughs> lets him. I guess it's a privilege. Um, and so he's only really vulnerable when he opens up like that. So you can see the difference in the in the types of attacks. So those missiles are rarely hitting him. So I may end up... Yeah, just keep blocking him, asshole. Hmm. I still have 13 attempts at missiles. Ah, oh, I've hit him like twice! Hey, there's a hit. Got a hit there, too. Just a little slow. Like, the second he stops moving, I have to be firing the missiles, or there's no way I'll hit him. Almost out of missiles. I'm gonna have to resort to other means soon. Oh, come on, hit him! <sighs> the window of opportunity to hit him is so small. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, we're switching to gun. We're using a potion. Oh, hey, I should use an invisibility potion. I can't even hit him with the whip. Fuck! In the butt. Sick of this shiza. Don't switch to the whip. 
I'm getting like two hits in every time. Potion. I hope the son of a bitch is gonna die soon. Down to my last missile. That's not gonna hit him for anything. Neat. <sighs> I'm out of potions. I'm out of... This guy, this guy's got to be the hardest boss in this game. Because the rest of them aren't. I mean, it's not even that, again, he's not that hard. Not like I'm like, oh my god, this game's so hard. It's not. It's just tedious. Dull. Like, I could have been dodging him and doing this. It's just a pain in the butt. And his electrical shots block my shots because, you know, video games. As long as I just don't stand still. Ugh. So boring. Just die. The rest of the bosses don't take this long. And your fucking shield. Oh, good. I took a hit. And the other part of it's the game that's super tedious and fun is that uh, if you die, you go right back to the beginning of the game. You still get all your stuff. Like, all your upgrades are intact. You just have to go wander through the whole fucking game again. You don't have to fight the bosses. They're dead. You get to keep your little, you know, piece of uh, paper that has a part of a UFO on it. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad I don't have to do that again. But it just puts you at the start position. And it's like, okay, go do it again. Go walk there. Because that's, you know, fun. Ugh. Just be sitting here for a second. I'm going to take the whip out. And use it to take out these little puddly bastards. In one hit so that they don't cause trouble. But I have to be careful because, you know, I don't want to accidentally pick up a downgrade. Switch back to our gun. Walking through the sewers. Okay. Yay! Out of the sewers. Yay! Into the sewers. Again. Neat. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. Good old green brick sewers. We out of here. We out, yo. Yes, keep spawning, assholes. Ah! Stupid gun. Now 
nope, not doing it. There's probably a gun downgrade or a whip downgrade hiding underneath that, and I'm gonna come out in the ass end of it. Not happening. Besides, don't need it. Keep pushing, just keep going. It's almost... The pain's almost over, Conrad. The pain's almost over. Right. Coming up behind this building here. But I think we may be able to do a little bit of exploring. No, not yet. I have to do another boss first. <sighs> Grab a key, go in the door, wander around in circles. Yep. Boss. Alright, so this guy has a shield and a gun. Which means he's even more fun. Fire our missiles! Thankfully, I can target this guy's head. And I think that that's a... As long as I'm not like head on with this gun like that, should be okay. Ah, god damn it, I keep moving too far. I like how your missiles will lock onto like the bullets from his gun. Good thinking, Sunsoft. Dicks. Yeah. Just gonna do missiles. They're hitting him. It's not. They're not hitting him with great regularity, but they're hitting him. And that's all I really can ask for, I think. Alright, gotta make sure I heal up. Can't get caught with my pants down in a health perspective. Okay, come on. Is that like a rooster head? Does he have a rooster head? I think that's a rooster head. Oh. Just die. Am I out of missiles? I'm out of missiles. Alright. There. Killed him with the whip. Ugh. Yeah, that looks like a rooster head. I will call him Rooster Head McGee. Oh, look! We popped out next to some stairs outside a building to go down into sewers. I've never done this before. This is totally original. Like, oh my god. I can't believe I'm playing Fastest Quest. Totally. <sighs> right. Upwards through another maddeningly boring and straightforward sewer passage. Oh, look! A gun downgrade. Fuck it. Ah, oh, powerful frogs. Okay, now we're gonna emerge on the surface. Yay! make our way around. I don't even know, like, some of these enemies, the inconsistency of the enemy design is kind of strange. Because you have these frogs that are kind of cartoony, and Fester's kind of cartoony, and then you've got these horrible insectoid things that, and, you know, like, the larger enemies, just, they don't mesh visually with the sort of cartoonish look that the rest of the sprites have. Uh, alright, so... 
Can you kill this guy? Hey, look, it's, uh... Yeah, see? Look at that. What the fuck is that thing? Ah, oh, I have no idea. Oh, look! A secret! This is... Another known, like, place to get health. I think there's only the two in the game. Judging by what I have read on GameFAQs forums. Like, people hacked the code. Oh! Get to hear that happy music again. And look at that moose moving. Move it, moose! Thanks, moose. And thanks for the extra point of health, family. Now we make our way up here. We'll use a little money to buy some hot dogs. Not that, you know, money's money's no object for an Adams. There we go. Got our health back. And now we work our way around. Um, I think, is this where? Yeah, Mama's gonna give me nooses. Uh, nooses are the are like a smart bomb. Yes. Very cool. Uh, the new summons Lurch, who then just, you know, appears and kills everything on the screen. But even that's kind of like, it, it's cool because they, they, they do it in the way that the license demands, you know? Because the, the whole concept of the noose from in the Addams Family, and, and it, they would pull it to summon, you know, to call Lurch into the room to do something, their servant. And he'd come in and say, you rag. And, oh yeah, just, just one of the running gags. And uh, they do that with this, because the game is oddly respectful to the source material, but it, it still just brings up a title card like it does everything else and then just causes every enemy on the screen to explode. They didn't bother making a sprite for Lurch to come in and do something or an animation or anything. They just put up a, uh, put up a little placard. Lurch was here. These frogs are annoying. And we've got a whip down grade. We've got to wait for disappear. Wait to have disappear. I'm just putting my words together poorly today. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, look, another gun upgrade I have to avoid. Neat. Hey, why don't we put another one in this little tiny passage so that I have to, you know, go even further. And again, I could whip, and it would probably kill those guys one, two hits, but then I might accidentally pick something up I don't want. Okay, I can't remember which is the right way to go here. I think it's this way. This is one of the few points in the game where it gets a little mazy. Yeah, this is the right way. And things block him. Oh no, this wasn't the right one. There's another one that looks just like it. And I was supposed to go in that one. Or something. Or I go in that later. Ah, uh, it's all a blur. A blur of boring. Yeah, here's the other one. And come down. Pass. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There's our stairs out. And more boring and boring, boring. Avoid that gun downgrade and go along the waterfront. And, oh, a sewer! Who knew? These guys that chew through the walls are pretty annoying in certain areas. I think this might be one of them. Oh my. And again, like I say, not hard, just tedious and boring. I think, do we have one more clue to get? So there's like two bosses left. Uh, I've been playing this for what, like 40 minutes? Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. I was so busy trying to look at the time. Oh god damn it. Ugh. I've done so well not picking up any of those fucking things this whole game.
Come here, frogs. Sons of bitches. I need... I need an upgrade. Well, maybe not. For the boss. Maybe I can get by without it for the boss. I'm annoyed that it took a point of damage, but... You know, that's life. Screw it. I'm not going all the way back. To find a, uh... Hot dog vendor and a... Um gun upgrade. I'm just not going to do that. Hmm. That seemed fairly straightforward. I'm just taking every turn that comes up. And then the one I don't, I go towards the dead end. Ha ha ha. Walking in circles. Walking in circles. Be cool if I had like a pencil, I could mark a wall and indicate. Oh, I went this way already. Or you know anything to distinguish it other than these plain walls. Like people thought this was fun. People thought that people would been have a good time with this. With this specific thing that I'm I, I'm like. Ow! There we go. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna loop right back around. Yep. At least they don't hide the exit, like, behind a hidden wall. I guess I can be thankful for that. No, nope, that's where I came in. Not gonna fall for that again. Okay, so dead end there. I go left, dead end. Dead end, obviously, that would make sense. Alright. Go through here. <sighs> Boy, Max, I hope you... I feel like you got your money's worth. Because, Jesus. Christ, I hate this game. There it is. Use an invincibility potion and just keep whipping. As soon as he hits me, I'll use another invinci invincibility potion. Then when he hits me again, I'll use a regular potion. Yep. And I'm invincible, and I'm whipping him. Look at me whip him. Whip, whip, whip. Yup. That's Fester's quest. And what was with that, like, giant ostrich neck thing? Man, enemy designs are weird. Die! Alright, so we're in the home stretch here. I really want to get a gun upgrade now. Because I don't want to have to try and get one in the mothership, which is really all that's left. And I don't want to go too far up here, because if I go too far up, a really nasty enemy can spawn. Down where I am. Yeah, what a pain in the butt this is. Screw it. If I die, I'll get the upgrade next time. You know, when I pass back through. <laughs> like I'm gonna keep playing after I die at this point. Look at that! How am I supposed to use that? Like, there's this one little space that's safe on the horizontal.
How about a gun upgrade, huh? Anybody got one of those for their good pal Fester? Right, so now we're at the cemetery. And these things are just gonna come. <sighs> yeah, neat. Thanks, game. This is really fun. Hate those fucking things. And they move fast enough that you can't avoid them. But once they're on your ass, they'll just follow you. So you have to, like, drop TNT or, or something. You have to find some of their means of getting them off you. Oh my gosh, there's a UFO! Never would have seen that coming. Okay, so the key to surviving the UFO is to use nooses liberally. There are a lot of really big, awful enemies that are, like, only in this stage. Hey, how about a gun upgrade, dicks? Yay, I found... Oh, I didn't find the spot. There it is. Don't want to take any hits from these little guys, because I'm gonna need most of my health stuff for the boss. Or at least... I'll probably need all the invisibility potions. I might not need the, uh the health potions, but better not to take the risk. Speaking of, hey look, a power down for my whip. Whoopee. I'll just stand here in this high hallway and do nothing while I wait for it to disappear. Well, maybe I can get a gun upgrade from... Hey, there we go. Very happy about that. Probably could pull out the whip and finish these guys this way, but... Or that way, so that they don't keep spawning like this. But oh well. They're dead. Doesn't matter. I got my gun. Thankfully. Alright, so our first, uh, noosing victim's probably coming up here. These things are... Not that bad, actually, as they go, but... Oh, no, they got caught in my attack, but they'll fire, like, these three blue bubble things at an angle. Really annoying. And they'll do it forever. Like, it, they'll be well off the screen, but firing at you. Royal pain in the ass. So we just want to make sure we take care of them. Head up through here. And, oh, this guy's annoying. Ah, uh, I called Lurch, and he killed him. Ha ha ha. Alright, I can take one more hit before I need to use a health potion. Switch to the whip so I don't have to... Do a whole bunch of killing there. Get him! There we go. Ah, uh, they get just a little bit faster as you hit them. It's annoying. And they just keep spawning in from the edge of the screen, forcing me to slowly work my way down. Because that's fun. Sunsoft knows fun. Soft. Right, I'm going to let this one shoot once, but we're going to keep marching. See? Look at him! All the way off the screen, those little blue bubbles just flying in out of nowhere. Right. This one's awful. Okay, so we can get these guys spawning in there on the right. I think there's another one that spawns in above later.
I need the gun to kill these guys. I don't want to go back to the right, though, because that'll make that guy spawn again. And this is a horrible long stretch of open area where they can just shoot me. There are no walls to block being shot. No, I'm not going to have those two guys there doing that thing. No, sir. Or these two. They're, they take way too many hits to kill. Oh, oh damn it, I got a... Oh, fuck me. I need to use a potion. It's finding the same ammunition I was at the beginning of the game. Okay, we're going to use another noose. Just get rid of this guy. I know another one will just spawn in on the spot that he's on once I move up a little bit, but you know. What are you gonna do? Video games. Oh, for God's sake. Can I get a whip upgrade, please? Anyone? Whip upgrade? I'll sit here and kill you guys all, my f all freaking day until I get one. Yeah, that's right. I want to go into the boss with full whip because his first, the first stage of fighting him is so much easier with it. And if I can pull that, if I pull that out quickly, then the rest of it's actually really stupidly easy. If the enemy has a boss has a blind spot you can exploit. See, even the games I hate. I try to know pretty well. In fact, it's oftentimes, if I'm gonna, like, hate on a game, I try my damnedest to, like, really play through and see it all and give it as much opportunity to impress me as possible. And, uh, this game doesn't do that. It's, it's, there's, like, I... Again, like, I, I'm, I'm kinda cool with the way it manages the license. Because the Adams license is a pretty cool license, and or the Adams family license, it's pretty neat. And I don't think that this game is particularly disrespectful of that. Oh my god, I feel like I have a long way to go still. That's not good. I think I've never touched one of those things, but my guess is that they hurt you because they're just sitting there, like, you know, just sitting there. Hey, how about a whip upgrade? Anybody? Anybody want to upgrade my whip? No? No? No one want to give me a whip upgrade? Please? Ah, shit. Oh, those walls will block him, though. See? Walls are good. Way better than that open air shit I was dealing with before. Easily dispensed with. Just have to be patient. His little blue ones will go through the wall, so it's important that we eliminate him. Oh. This is the boss music, isn't it? I'm just listening to the boss music over and over again in the last stage, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, this game has good music. But not not just the one track. Oh, you son of a bitch. Haha. Ha. I don't know if I killed him or not, but I definitely outran him, and that's just as good. Ah! Did I manage to avoid taking the hit? No, I didn't. Damn. <sighs> How about a fully charged whip? Can I get a whip, please? A whip upgrade? Just, just one. 
pretty, you, it's clear that there are concessions made for the fact that you're gonna have to do some of this like grindy power up, power down crap because they put these sort of weaker enemies in there and it's not, there's no need for them at this point in the game. They could just be, you know, dropping really annoying shit, but they created a slightly more difficult, but not overwhelmingly difficult basic enemy so that you'd have something to fight and get upgrades from. No, I don't want to gun downgrade. I want to whip upgrade. Hey, there it is. I just gotta wait for that gun to disappear. Yay, got my whip. Right? Yes, okay. And the path is clear. I wish there were a better way of, like, switching from your gun to your whip. Not having to go to the menu and press, like, select or A. And I also wish that every button didn't do exactly the same thing in that menu, which is, you know, switch your whip and your... Yep, we're just gonna axe those guys. They aren't that hard to kill, but they're way easier to kill when you get Lurch to come in and do it for you. Ah. I hate using too much of Lurch, but I, I just I don't want to take the damage. I'm starting to get low. Although here we are at the, the final boss area, so that's not so bad. Alright, to do this we're going to need... Invincibility potions and the whip. I like how it switches to the original. There we go. Destroy these guns. Yep, we destroy these guns here, and a couple more whips on that one will do it. And then all that's left to attack me is this little wibbly energy ball, but it's kind of glitched. So it's just going to do this. And I'm just going to do this. Yep. I'm going to missile it to death from standing to the side. That's how well designed this game is. Yep. This is the last boss, people. Just shooting missiles. Yep. Isn't this exciting? And there it is. That's, uh... That's Fester's Quest. So... Uh, I hope Max is, is happy with his investment. I hope this has been entertaining for you. Um, those of you who watched, uh, if anybody other than Max even watches this, and, and who could blame you. There goes the spaceship. But, um, yeah. Mission accomplished. Fester saves the day. The town full of four people who all look the same. <coughs> Congratulating the Adams on coming together to save the world. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out my other games and gameplay stuffs that I do. And uh, cheers to, to Max Waroptic for uh, paying me to do this. Uh, I, I would thank you. But I, I did play Fester's Quest and all. <laughs>